Here comes The Rock. Music hits. Big cheers in the beginning. He's wearing the the Versace shirt, but as a vest. Okay, he has like a yes. Versace vest on. Very old school Dwayne. Okay, straight out of the Attitude Era. He did the straight inbred out of, jokes. Uh, the nation stuff. Okay, he did the polygamy jokes. He did the inbred jokes. Uh, this was 1998 Dwayne, for sure, right? This was very much first nation, you know, uh, uh, first run of his nation of domination heel, like when he was picking up steam. It was really cool to see. He he pretty much ragged on the crowd. Uh, he told, uh, he blamed everyone for ruining the main event of WrestleMania because of the Cody stuff. He also ignored Royal Rumble win and said Cody has his chance and he lost. <laughs> Which I don't know what that means. Oh, I guess because he lost people the first time. Yeah. Yeah. So people didn't take this right. I, I, I got where he was going. He's, he's being a heel and everybody is kind of going, uh, oh, you know, you're, you, you, what do you mean? Cody won the Royal Rumble. He gets a chance. No, that's not the point. He's setting up that they, they're, they're the bosses and, the bloodline runs everything. It doesn't matter. That's what they're setting up. Yeah, but here's my problem, so, okay? Two weeks ago, mm -hmm. they had here's Cody the come out. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, uh, and I get that there's more to the story, right? Anytime I speak to somebody from WWE, from creative, from anywhere, there's, it's... There's it, another layer is going to come out. Everybody's very tight-lipped, mm -hmm. and everybody's saying, let the story tell itself. Great, fine, I believe you, because I think the story has been doing well the last couple of years. However, you had Cody come out there, he has been telling us that he needs to fulfill the story. He has to fulfill his father's legacy. He wins the freaking Royal Rumble again and then goes out there the following week. And he's like, oh, by the way, I'm not challenging you. It's not my time. It's Dwayne's time to beat you. So are they going to say that he was under duress <laughs> when he said uh, that? Something like that. I, so I, I, they're going to say he, he got bad advice or something like I, that. I, I, don't I don't know. know. I hope they crazy, explain but... it. I hope they explain it. Cody needs to do it. Cody needs to do it sooner than later, for okay. sure. That needs to happen in the next week or two. So we got. He said that he will do everything in his power to make sure Cody walks out of WrestleMania a loser. Interesting. So then there was a moment that he said something about I forgot what was I forgot the words, but he was essentially talking about Cody. But he was is this it? And he, but he was pointing at Roman. It was that line. I'm going to make it sure you like walk out of WrestleMania camera. a loser. And, and yeah. listen, that was done by design. That wasn't happenstance. Of None of this was happenstance, okay? None of this was happenstance. They are telling a story. But the delivery of Rock, everybody's like, well, this was like 1998 Rock. It really wasn't. It was a different Rock, okay? The promo was built on reality and not being a pro wrestling hokey promo. If you're going to say, if I'm going to say 1998 rock, 1999 rock, I'm going to go near LA night, right? That's the type of promo he does. This was different. This was more built into reality, which I liked a lot. Then he does, if you smell what the rock is cooking, they put the finger up, right? The, the one finger up, but he does it. He does this. Guns out. I don't know if that, I don't know if that was just coincidence or not. Well, I mean, it, it is be. what Cody At did. He, point, he that's what Cody did when he won, right? He won the Rumble. He did the Bullet um, Club thing. He did the Guns Out Bullet Club thing. So maybe that was that, or maybe that was the happenstance. Maybe that was just you know the Rock put not putting his finger in and and keeping it out. You know, like people like do this and do this and they do this like they don't get it right. Maybe it was one of those. I'm, yeah. I'm doing finger signs here and nobody on the radio could see. <laughs> so sorry, guys. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot where I am. Um, so I, I, can I, I, add I something yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Add something. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so, so one thing I noticed is you, you, I know you liked it because your generation where you grew up with, this was your viewing point when he, Attitude Era Rock was, your jam. You you grew up on this. Yeah. So I wonder how many people after that that only know The Rock as Dwayne Johnson, the actor, got caught onto this. If they look at this differently, 
and they go, oh, this guy's supposed to be a, a, a fun actor from Hollywood. Why is he being such a a bleep hole, for lack of a better word? Yeah. You know? I, and I, I wonder how that's being taken. I don't know. Um, I, I do think there are a ton of, of younger wrestling fans that are Dwayne detractors out there because they don't like his promos. They think it's hokey. And maybe a little bit, you know, I, I felt that I felt that 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 initial promo he did when he said, is he going to sit at the head of the table? Right. That came off. I mean, the ending line was great, but that came off as like a very standard rock promo that didn't doesn't age as well. Right. It felt an older promo. This didn't feel that way. And I think they all realize that. And this is the rock's brilliance as an actor. He was able to pivot into this. Also, playing a heel is so much easier. It's mm -hmm. so much easier. Because it's easier to grab aspects of your, your, your actual personality when you're a heel. Because it's, 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 it comes, it's easier to be mean. It's not for... Mm -hmm. I, I, I truly believe that. And I think for Dwayne, this came out so natural um, that it works. So now the story is, what the heck do they do with WrestleMania? Because obviously that tag match is out the window. I, I can't see Seth Rollins wrestling twice and Cody wrestling twice. Does the story get fulfilled for, for Rock and Roman at WrestleMania 41? Is that where we go? That Do we go to like SummerSlam? Maybe that's where. Yeah, it sounds like uh, they're going to another match. I, I, it seems but. like it, but when? Maybe SummerSlam. Maybe that's mm -hmm. your big SummerSlam. But this match has to be a WrestleMania match. Yes. I, I think they're doing another year long build like they did with Cena all those years ago. I don't know. And I, hope I that don't. Brock's body holds up. <laughs> well, we hope his body holds up. We ho hope that his acting schedule doesn't get uh, inundated. Uh, you know, he's on the board of directors right now for WWE for two years, and I'm sure that's going to keep him there. So we're going to see a lot more of him. Does this become a regular thing that we see him on TV throughout the year? This isn't just a one off. There's a lot of these questions, tons. And I think it's important to talk about. You know, this is the pivot here the company's making. 